Hello, and welcome to another TRC Shave and Chat. I'm Jeff, and today we'll be showcasing Mitchell's Wool Fat. As you can see, it's not in its original container. I have bought a replacement puck and put it in an empty jar. And you'll probably, some of you probably recognize the uh, source of the jar, but Mitchell's sells replacement pucks. I think they're four and a half ounce. It's a hard soap. And um, it's a cost-effective way to reuse a shave soap puck. Fit right in. There's several companies that sell replacement pucks like this. Uh, Sapon Ficio Veracino has some higher end vegetarian ones that are, the scents are amazing. And um, Sterling, Sterling sells a very, I think their entire range of shaving soaps in four and a half ounce replacement pucks. Mitchell's, um, just to name a few, there's not many companies that do it. And those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. Brush today. Simpsons we Scott, comparatively to the Simpsons Trafalgar T3, it's a monster difference. But we're going to use this brush, and I'll show you that it's not just a novelty, it's actually a usable, good brush. Not only to mention that it's like almost $20 more expensive than this nice Simpsons synthetic T3. Both of these I purchased at the Razor Company. And also, Mitchell's Wolf Fat purchased at the Reese Company. But we're going to put the wee Scott in a wee dip drink of water. Okay, I'm soaking for a minute. <laughs> Kills me. Um, also, for the scraper, E Mula R108 with the resin handle. It's a beautiful razor. In my opinion, slightly weight imbalanced. But it's beautiful. The resin is translucent and it's got kind of a, a tortoise shell thing going on and it's a good razor. I mean this head is proven by time and popularity so there is nothing wrong with this razor. Um, so the wool fat, Mitchell's wool fat. Apparently the recipe is from 18, what, what's the sound label? 1893 and they haven't changed it since. It just smells like a nice, fresh, soapy scent. It's from England, and I'm not soaping it in this tub. I'm going to lather it in my stainless steel bowl. Now, I've used this twice, three times so far. Um, I've used a dry puck, just lathering off the dry puck, and I've also bloomed it. I noticed no great big difference, um, other than maybe blooming made it slightly foamier. So, dry puck it is into the bowl, dry puck, wet brush. And this is kind of fun too. I'll actually try, you have to use my thumb to hold the puck in place. But the, uh, the lathers quickly. The Simpsons we Scott doesn't have much backbone, a little floppy. What I've been doing with this puck is just lathering until I got a paste. Maybe add a little water. It really has no discernible fragrance to me. It's just soap. It smells really nice, actually. Very clean. Very simple. I think it's triple milled. I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely a harder soap. Wet my face. I've got almost three days growth. And um, I just did that specifically for making a quick video. I really like the replacement puck option. Because you will find yourself with an empty tub and wondering what to do with it. Do you put coins in it? Do you give it to a kid and let them put treasures in it? Or do you buy a replacement puck and use it? You can also use them for samples, like uh, Sterling sells one ounce puck samples, which last for like 20, 25 shaves. They're great. And they're 
cheap um, and you smush a one ounce sample puck in an empty jar. You can try it all kinds of different scents. Add some water. I don't know if it's obvious, but Mitchell's is a towel of soap. <laughs> Wolf fat. Good enough. And I still have plenty of residual lather laying around in there to load up this little Lee Scott in my five dollar cat bowl. I bought this from PetSmart. I've been using it for three years now, and it works fabulous for whatever I need, shaving wise. Sometimes I just use it for to hold stuff. Bamila R108. This was actually given to me by the razor company, so this whole shave is from them. Um, I did not purchase this razor. But eventually I was going to because I love the handle. Not much of a buffer. Well, you don't need to. It's a little on the mild side, but... I don't know, it doesn't seem as mild as other mild razors to me. Like I said, there's a so that, you know, the balance isn't ideal for me, but the handle is not slippery. Well, there are some soaps that I'm sure Slippery. With the grain. So this is my second tub I've emptied. I've got way too many soaps. And I've put uh, a Sterling puck in one and a Mitchell's wool fat puck in the other. And I still have way too many soaps. With the Sterling, it was kind of fun because I wanted to step out of my comfort zone with regards to scents. So I put a orange chill puck in one of them Man, that kind of opened up my preferences. Simplified them. Made me realize I didn't always need the fancy ones. And, you know, the simple fragrances were enjoyable and A lot of fun and refreshing. Orange chill is awesome. Mentholated. It kind of reminds me of orange tic tacs. Wow. Lots of residual slickness still from the Mitchell's wolf fat. And This thing took off quite a bit of hair in two passes. And in fact, I'm only going to do a cleanup pass. It is a little foam more foamy. In the tub, but boy, just start working out on your face. A 
like to say that's super well hydrated, but I think it was just a big gob. Big gob of shaving soda on a black t-shirt. Ah, maybe it is. <laughs> it's running away. Put that back in there. Good thing I'm not wearing this t-shirt today. Clean up pass. Ooh, now she's getting slippery. Maybe I lied. Do a little ammo. Maybe I'm finally activating the lamelin in this soap, but well, before it wasn't hydrated enough. <laughs> That's probably likely. Yeah. I've got some problem spots in here. It was all funny, different, different, like a swirl. I don't get those little hairs right there. It drives me crazy every day. I feel like I've got this weird little mustache. Nobody can see it. But I know it's there. Oh, man. Yeah, right here, a little spot that, uh, frankly, it's hard to get really clean. Otherwise, I can still shave. If I needed to pass, this is slick enough, I can still sh easily shave. That's good soap. Mitchell's Wolf Fat. A uh, original 1893 formula. Prepared with natural lanolin. Soothes, softens, and smooths. Bradford, Yorkshire, England. Nice. Well, thanks for watching. This was a uh, TRC Shave and Chat. Jeff again, and um, this was Wolf Fat was the soap of the day. Thanks. Bye.